Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to make up your own micro womb cultures from a starter culture so that your fish can enjoy a good feed like these guys are having right here. Uh, if you are a customer in New Zealand, thank you very much for purchasing and uh, I'll show you how to look after your culture. So first of all you're going to need a jug or a kettle or whatever you'd like to call it. You're going to need to boil some water uh, and you are going to need to buy yourself some instant mashed potatoes. So here we have Cinderella mashed potatoes. Uh, I have seen value uh, potato flakes they call them uh, and these run for under two dollars each a bag so it's really economical. Um, so you're just going to put your flakes into your Pyrex jug or a container or whatever you want to mix it up in. Then you're going to add your boiled water and you are going to use a fork to mix it up and it's going to be very boring so we're just going to have the original sound in here because it sounds entertaining. So whatever you do on the instructions it says do not whip. So as you can see, you want a consistency like this. That looks pretty good. Kind of like KFC potato gravy. Then after you've done that, you're going to get whatever containers you want to store your other cultures in. I use Chinese takeaway containers. Um, so the container on the left is what I use uh, when I'm sending a culture to a customer. Um, so that it's in a harder, more heavy duty container. And there you have worms. Those are your wriggly worms. So if you don't like worms, well, maybe you shouldn't buy some. But they're not that bad. So what you want to do is you want to scrape out from your own culture, like I am here, and put these worms into your new cultures. It's always best to have more than one culture because if you only have one, well, it can crash and then you have nothing. You've got to start again. You've got to buy another starter culture. So always have more than one. And I do this with my cultures in the summer about once a week. Other than that, you want to do it twice a week. So we're just on fast forward here because this is pretty boring. You're just going to make sure you get a good amount of worms in each of the cultures. Uh, here I am moving on to one of my other cultures to uh, put in here. So once I've got that one in there, uh, I just dispose of the original one rather than having it turn into some sort of primordial ooze that smells really disgusting. Now you can kind of like give the culture a kickstart by adding some um, activated yeast, I think it's called. Uh, I just use the Pam's brand because hey, it's just for worms. So that's a couple of bucks, or I think about five bucks for a container or something like that, and it'll last you forever. So that's pretty much the uh, guts of looking after your micro room cultures, pretty simple. Uh, when you're going to feed them to your um, fish or whatever you want to feed them to, I suppose fish is the only thing I can think of that you would give it to, uh, you could use a cotton bud, your finger, uh, a cotton bud is a Q-tip to those overseas, um, and you can just run it around the sides because the worms will crawl up the sides, and then just dunk it into your fish tank. Uh, if you use more than uh, if you have more than one fish tank, I'd use individual cotton buds. Thanks, guys, and that's about it from me. So I hope you have enjoyed this video, um, and I will see you. What's today? I will have another video for you on Sunday. So that's it from me today, folks, and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Uh, any questions, comments? chuck them down the bottom uh, if you're a customer email me if not uh, well I don't know subscribe and like it I suppose that would be always be good it'd be really good for me thank you I'm gonna finish rambling now bye